Did you know Ukrainian partisans are actively opposing sham elections in occupied areas? They recently attacked a car guarding polling stations in Novokakovka, Kherson, and hacked Russian broadcasts in occupied Crimea to convey a pro-Ukrainian message. These elections are reminiscent of Russia's past shams, like annexation referendums last year in regions partly controlled by Moscow and the illegal annexation of Crimea nine years ago. They're widely condemned, with suspicions of rigged results. Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmytro Kuleba, declared them null and void, and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called them a blatant disregard for U.N. charter principles. The destruction of the pro-Kremlin United Russia Party's headquarters in Polohi, Zaporizhia, demonstrates Ukraine's continued resistance for sovereignty. Did you know that Algeria says France can't fly military aircraft over the country in order to conduct a military operation in Niger? France responded by saying, cool, we never asked for such a thing. Twelve Nigerian soldiers were killed in a terrorist ambush. That's the eighth terrorist attack on the army since the coup happened. Also, the African Union has kicked Niger out of the Union due to the coup, and the new U.S. ambassador has arrived in the country, but they won't be meeting with the junta.